Hey, yo, 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 what is good, people? A um, little late night video for y'all. Uh, this video is mainly for my empaths out there, you know, people who are very sensitive to energy, um, uh, you know, can easily take on other people's emotions. So, uh, first of all, like, what up, right? Like, what up? Um, let me see if I can fix the lighting situation here. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, this is not part of making a good video, but here you go. So, you know, um, as an empath, you know, uh, you take on the energy of your environment, whether that's people or just even as simple as like, you know, when you're in nature, you feel great. When you're surrounded by a bunch of depressed people, you become depressed, right? And so, um, by and large, what I'm interested in as a person is to feel as clear, happy, whole, joyous, and complete as possible, right? I want to feel as good as possible. But what happens is there are a multitude of factors that can lower your energy. You know, as something as simple as not eating enough food, or you're hungry, or you're thirsty, or maybe your you know your physical fitness is not on point, right? Or on a more like relatable level right now it's like okay so you're around people who are not really doing well emotionally or more specifically let's say you're around someone who like just went through a big fight or was upset or disappointed or what have you and so as an empath you now have those emotions on you and something that one of my mentors taught me is that you know Regardless if, uh, regardless if an emotion comes from you or not, comes from another person or not, it is now on you to deal with any residual emotion that you've taken on. And you can blame and bitch and complain about how this isn't your emotion, right? That someone else transferred this to you. But at the end of the day, you are now carrying a piece of their emotional state and it's on you to do something about it, okay? And so one of my favorite, favorite exercises to shed off energy and emotion that I don't care for is to literally just either pull up a blank sheet of paper on your phone or like physically in real life and just literally start to list off the emotions that are coming up for you, right? So for example, not one minute before I started this video, I went through a like five minute exercise of doing just that. And um, the list started off with like sadness, upsetness, hatred, anger, um, ridiculousness, uh, wear and tear, uh, anger again. And I don't, I, I allow myself really to just whatever emotion comes up, I write it down. And by writing it down, it allows me to first identify the emotion in my body and just have it be acknowledged and expressed. Um, and it's funny because I, this list will end up being like sometimes 50, 50 words long. And I'm just I'm just listing off rapid fire, hatred, sadness, upsetness, wear and tear, anger, disappointment, upsetness, unseen, unheard, uncared for, unappreciated, depreciated, underrated, undervalued, um, I'm tired, worn out, dead, hopeless, depleted, uh, um, um, unregarded, right? And so it's like, and I'm gonna tell you what, guys, like, I had a fucking great day. <laughs> yet, yet these emotions are hitting me, right? So it's like, as an empath, unless you, first of all, acknowledge that, like, oh, shit, I take other people's shit on, right? I take other people's emotions on, first of all, and B, like to have some type of strategy to be like, oh crap, how do I un like release emotions that aren't mine, right? And because genuinely, guys, I had such a great day. Like I could not have had a more fulfilling, exciting, happy day. But for some reason, you know, and, and the reason is because earlier today, uh, my sister... Um, who has three kids one of them uh, is a stepkid and don't get me wrong they're all 
loving and caring and they, they like to be together as a family. But, um, you know, as the dynamics go with parent and child, it's like you're not always like there's a lot of disciplining going on. There's a lot of boundaries being pushed and crossed. And so it's not uncommon for, you know, like some intense energy to go on in a household of a family with young kids, right? Especially like teenagers, right? With strong personalities. And so long story short, um, there was something somewhat of a shouting match. And, you know, I have no judgment. And I also know that it's not my responsibility to like intervene if I don't want to, right? Or if I'm not asked to. But regardless, you know, waves of anger and upsetness and disappointment and just in general like low vibration energy was like reeking throughout the house and so because I'm in the house like unless I'm like able to carry a boundary between me and the energy of the house it's like okay like here it comes right here comes the upsetness and now it's on me and you know um as an empath it's really on you to figure out what strategies you can do independently that will allow you to you know uh, be free from these ripples and uh, that exercise of listing out emotions is really effective for me it's something that i encourage you to try on at least a couple times see if it helps you but yeah um hashtag empath life hashtag why am i so sensitive hashtag it's a gift and a curse hashtag give me my space bitch <laughs> anyways just a quick video i uh, appreciate all of y'all's patience and uh, continued loyalty to this channel um, i know that my posting frequency has changed especially in the last month I went from posting every day to now like once or twice a week. Um, I know it's sporadic. Like I've said in the most recent videos, this channel is going through a transformation. Um, a lot of shifts from the top down. And a lot of you may no longer resonate with this channel. And on the same token, many of you are going to love this channel even more. All right. So um we'll see which side of the fence you end up being on but regardless i appreciate you i love you um if you are looking for uh personal growth training coaching consulting mentorship uh, email me and we'll get to talking um i typically work with people who are a types meaning people who are go-getters achievers want something more for their life and it doesn't matter if you are already successful to a certain degree and just want to take it to the next level. Or if you're someone who is like, you know, is a shell of yourself and is far removed from your A-type ways, but you're looking to not only reignite the A-type within you, but you're looking to figure out like which championships you want to achieve, meaning what big goals you want to achieve, and then you know, how can you actually become the person that achieves them, right? So long story long, empaths, find out strategies that will help you release energy, poo-poo energy that's not yours. And uh, uh, secondarily, if you're someone who wants support, coaching, guidance in your personal growth journey to be the best that you can fucking be, reach out to me, email down below, all right? Um, hope you all are well, stay blessed. Trust y'all, I have like fucking five videos in the locker right now that I could release like right now, but I don't think they're in their final form just yet. All right, I love y'all. Peep the hair. Peep baby Yoda in the back. What's good? Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.